안녕하세요. My name is Jerome Kim. IVI was founded in 1997 as an initiative of the United Nations Development Program, or UNDP. IVI was the first international organization headquartered in Korea and is uniquely the only international organization that discovers, develops, and delivers safe, effective, and affordable vaccines for global health. As a result, the IVI and Korea have a very special, highly collaborative relationship. Korea provides 30% of IVI's total operating costs every year, joined now by the governments of India, Sweden, and Finland. Humankind has been plagued by a number of infectious diseases in the past. Diseases like smallpox, the plague, tuberculosis, and a host of childhood illnesses like measles, mumps, German measles, and crippling diseases like polio. But no one is worried about these diseases anymore. Why? Because in many cases, we have safe and effective vaccines that prevent these diseases before they happen. So epidemics have appeared and disappeared over the course of human history and have shaped human populations and human history. Now in the 21st century, we're confronted by the COVID-19 pandemic. Fortunately for us, the development of vaccines against COVID-19 occurred at an unprecedented pace, and manufacturers have so far been able to make, and we have been able to administer, 3.6 billion doses of COVID-19 vaccine. Now, if we imagine that there are 8 billion people in this world, we will need 16 billion doses in order for vaccination of the entire global population to be complete. At the same time, the race to vaccinate populations around the world has met a second road bump, and that is the emergence of what we call mutant viruses, or variants of concern. These variants of concern appear to spread more quickly in populations, and in some cases, are able to partially escape from the immune or protective responses that are generated by the current vaccines. And so companies around the world are struggling, and governments are working hard to fund research to develop new and effective vaccines that will work not only against the COVID-19 viruses that started the pandemic, but also about against COVID-19 variants or mutants in the future. A number of conditions or are, are qualities are necessary in order for a country to become such a vaccine manufacturing hub. You'd need a high level of medical technology, a large biomanufacturing capacity, a significant amount of skilled labor, active investment from the government. All of these things would greatly facilitate the creation of such a bio hub. The Korean government has already invested in the creation of pilot manufacturing plants, one in Andong that makes viral vaccines and another in Hwasan that can make bacterial vaccines. The Korean government has also invested a significant amount of funding, nearly $200 million, in something called VITAL, which is a research and development effort aimed at developing innovative strategies for vaccines and vaccine-induced protective immune responses. There are a large number of highly skilled, highly competent biological manufacturers in Korea. In fact, Korea is the second largest manufacturer of biological substances. These companies include Samsung Biologics and Celtrion, which already have products that are approved by regulatory agencies outside of Korea, including the U.S. Food and Drug Administration and the European EMA. All of these factors contribute to the strong potential that Korea has to become a global vaccine manufacturing powerhouse. In order to successfully control COVID-19 through vaccination, we're going to need three things. First, we need to prove that the vaccine works. Then we're going to need to manufacture the vaccine in significant quantity at high quality. And then we're going to have to implement vaccination programs around the world. Typically, it takes a long time for vaccine technology to work its way from the high income countries where vaccines are developed to the low and middle income countries where the bulk of the world's population live. We didn't want COVID to be yet another situation where high-income countries exclusively used these innovative vaccine technologies that are designed to protect populations against the ravages of COVID-19. So the world got together and created COVAX. COVAX is really, again, an unprecedented opportunity for us to provide innovative vaccine technology to countries regardless of their income status in the first year of introduction. And although COVAX rollout has been slow, IVI and other organizations strongly back the idea put forward by the Secretary General of the United Nations that no one is safe 
until everyone is safe. The Republic of Korea is IVI's largest donor country. IVI has been very active developing new vaccines and promoting their delivery in low and middle income countries. We really do need to work together though, because vaccine development is a cooperative, collaborative, multilateral activity. Korea has joined other countries in the Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness Innovations, CEPI, to help develop not only vaccines against COVID, but other outbreak diseases more rapidly and more effectively. Global co cooperation is the key to our success.